Hello everyone. Welcome to Code with Kamran. Hope you all are doing good. In this video series, we have talked about basics of Reactor JS application and we will continue that. So if you have any specific topic in your mind that you want me to cover, then you can comment it down. Yeah, and in this video, we will be talking about a little complex topic, React Redux. So let's get started. So I remember when my first project started to grow a little complex with growing number of components, it was difficult for me to share data between components. In a direct content components, we can use prop and it is easily done. If you don't know about what is props, I have already made a clear video on that. Uh, so you can watch that. Now in a simply related components, you can use props, but when the project become huge, and there are multiple hierarchy of components, then props are not that efficient way to pass data between components. Then we have to use some other methods. And in this video, we are going to talk about one of the most efficient way to do that, and that is Redux. Basically, Redux is a state management tool which is used to store and share data between React components. So in simple words, Redux is a data store where you can keep your data and wherever components needs that data, you can use that data from that particular component. And even you can update the component in the store from any component. So let's talk about how to work with Redux. Let's split the procedure to work with Redux. As I already said, Redux is simply a store. So first we have to create a store and then we have to share the store with the components. And finally, we can use the store or the data from the store from the component and even we can update the data in the store. Now we will take an example theoretically and we'll try to understand how to implement a Redux in a React.js application. So let's say we have a project in which with the root component have three child components header body and footer and each of the child component contain more two more components and then on the third level also we have these three components each now the situation is you have this data of user profile and you have to share this data with header and as well as all the leaf components here leaf components means the, the bottom most components firstly we will try to know few redux terminologies so first point is store which is actual store where we keep our data for which we will be use create store method of redux and we will pass this store to the topmost component and in most of the cases like it is passed to the root component all the component beneath this component will be able to access the data of this store and we also provide the reducer to this store so what is reducer reducer are simply the list of action you want to perform on the data for example, if you want to update the name of the user, then reducer is the definition that will simply take name as an input and update the name field in the user profile. Just keep in mind that reducer is only the definition. And to call this definition, we have to use actions, which means calling the change of the data method using dispatch method. In simple words, action are the trigger point of this reducer. To summarize this, first you have to define what actions or what changes you want to apply to the data that is your reducer and to call that reducer you have to use actions and you have to define the actions separately. So we talked about how to update the data. Now we will talk about how to get the data from the store. So we will be needing this data to display on the UI or do some calculation or whatever. For that we will use use selector hook of the react redux package use selector simply subscribe to this data store and whenever there is an update in the data use selector also update the data wherever it is called i know i know for first it will sound confusing for now just try to remember the sequence first we have to create the store then create the reducer which are the definition for the updation of the data and then create actions to call that reducers and getting the data off from the store is easy using use selector. I hope you get the idea of Redux, why it is used and how it flows. In the next video, we will make a store 
in one of our application and then the whole picture of the redux will get more clear don't forget to like the video and if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel till then happy coding everyone see you in the next video